Next presentation, I'd like to introduce Ruben Lopez Mendoza, who will present on segment anything model for mapping. Oh yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, I'm gonna present my slide here. Uh, okay, uh, I am Ruben, uh, I am from Peru and I am part of the OSM uh, community. I've been working with uh, OpenStreetMap for more than 10 years, uh, contributing on mapping, but also on map mapping data creation uh, for data analysis, analyze and uh, everything related to uh, OpenStreetMap ecosystem. Uh, in this opportunity, I'm gonna present uh, about uh, segment anything model for mapping and ML data training using DS annotate. Uh, uh, I work for Development Seed. Uh, development Seed is a company that specializes in, in uh, specializes in digital solution and using uh, focusing on using geodata and uh, open source technology. And well, I want to focus on this. Uh, what was the problem? The problem was kind of uh, my my team and I we've been working with OpenStreetMap, but sometimes we find difficult to map cropland, river, complex futures like forests can be, and also lakes. And that's why we've been working on uh, a tools that like a magic one can work with a generative AI and for kind of speed up our mapping workflows, uh, but also help us to create training data, uh, data sets for machine learning. And that's the result. Uh, we've been creating the S annotate, uh, the S annotate plugin for Joson and segment anything model, which is the backend side. And I'm gonna show this. Uh, does everybody is looking my my window here? Yes. Okay. I want to show. Oh, okay. This is DS annotate, which is uh the the front end side of of my of our tool. Um, uh, it's kind of like easy to use this part. Uh, you can select a. Uh, you can select any projects. Can be uh with any kind of farms or in this case, for example, uh, uh, you can use any different uh, mapping or any TMS layers, for example, a Sentinel. And uh, for example, you can select, uh, let's see here. Uh, you can detect, um, you can set up any classes as well. Okay. Um, Uh, farms. Okay, yeah. And then uh, you can select the AOI and then start working. For example, I'm gonna press here, uh, oh, single point. You can select single point and multi points and it's gonna detect this area. For example, I can do it for uh, multi points, kind of selecting different areas uh, like this and request. And this is gonna map everything there. This croplands, for example. Uh, the similar workflow, what we done, it's bring it similar workflow to Joson with a, a plugin. Uh, and what we done, it's create the AOI, for example, and then start selecting this part, for example, uh, press here and I'm gonna, it's gonna map this part. Okay. And then once that you can select, uh, you can add, for example, uh, this is a land use, uh, farmland. And then, yeah, uh, but also I think complex features like lakes, in this case, this part, uh, you can map these parts, just press there. Um, yeah, you see here, all the lake is there and you can map like land use water. Um, well, can be rivers as well, everything there. That's, that's something I think uh, that Attila can use for the forest mapping, but yeah, that's that's my that's my present presentation. Thank you. Anybody has any questions? Maybe. Oh. Uh, Uh, 
it's anybody is asking is my first uh, event in you OSM USA no I I've been in different events of open stream map in the past Some other questions coming in is, can you repeat how to get this into JOS, JOSM? Uh, say that again, please. Can you repeat how to get this into JOSM? Uh, can I repeat how to get this into JOSM? Uh, don't mm -hmm. get you well that question. Is it, uh, the plugin is there also. The, the, the uh, Magic One plugin, it's in the, Jawsome uh, plugin store. Uh, you can download it from there and start using. Uh, the the only thing is that sometimes uh, since the since our backend it's using GPU and takes like um, takes time. Um, well, it 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 costs it it generate costs in the backend side because we use uh, IAWS GPUs. But if you contact with us, we can kind of work with with that part of the in your project or some mapping activities. Uh, is there a limit of the size and area you can classify in the web interface? Uh, not really. You can select any part of the, any view, any size of the view, and then start. Uh, when you have a high resolution image, you if you go to the, uh, well, basically, if you get a high resolution, you get more uh, accurate predictions. Uh, for example, in this case, I'm using a Sentinel. That, that's fine too. Uh, but yeah, the size can be any any size. Just need to select the, the AOI area. I think we have time for one more question. Uh, well, is this using a... Can you tune model by something? Yeah, we are using segment anything model uh, in the backend and what we don't pass from the front end, everything to the backend and process in the GPU and returns as a GeoJSON to display there. I haven't, I haven't uh, answered all the questions, but yeah, I will be one by one in the chat. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you so much. Thank you.